What's happening, YouTube? It's your boy, Big Just LaFleur from that Facts and Cat podcast. And once again, we back, baby. And hey, man, it looks like Gucci, man, is, is potentially losing another artist, a fourth, fifth, sixth artist to the federal penitentiary. You know, just the federalities are really on his artist tail. And I'm talking about none other than Hot Boy West. So for those of y'all who aren't familiar with Hot Boy West, he's an artist who was signed in July 2021 out of Waco, Texas real spitter real gutter you know uh with a country little twang to his music so that's how i would you know say his music he's not but he's not really a club artist from what i hear but he he, he remind me of like that old school boosie that old school webby feel so you know just real gutter like you know and and, and i really appreciate that music and I've, I've seen the talent i watched his interviews man you know this man had a rough a rough upbringing very rough you know spent a lot of his time in jail a lot of his life but you could tell he's a real intelligent person so you know i'm hoping that this is all a misunderstanding and it's something that can be proven maybe in the court you know that he you know can get this you know situated but as for gucci i mean this is like you know you got rollo went to jail went to the feds he's still there pooh shiesty federal case Fujiano just got picked up by a federal case. Um, and now we got him. We got, you know, that we got, you know, his old artist who Maul, Hood, Rich Pablo won in the Fed. So, hey, man, this ain't looking too good for these, for, you know, his artists. I don't know, man. This man might got the Madden curse or some. God damn. Gucci man ain't never going to be able to retire. Never. So let me go into detail of what, um, what they say happened. The U.S. Marshal Service, <clears throat> the U.S. Marshal Service Lone Star Fugitive Task Force on Monday arrested a well-known Waco rap artist. Wesley Taquan Lewis, also known as Hot Boy West, was arrested Monday afternoon. The 26-year-old Lewis is wanted on a Hewitt Police Department robbery warrant. He was listed on the McLennan County Jail Log Monday night with two additional charges from the McLennan County Sheriff's Office of unlawful possession of a firearm by a felon and theft of a firearm. According to the officials with the McLennan County Sheriff's Office, Lewis was in a vehicle stopped at 9th and Cold Court in Waco at the time he was spotted by authorities and taken into custody. So they used to seeing him, man. They, they said they he was spotted by the authorities. They was looking for him. Oh, there you go right there. A stolen gun was recovered by the vehicle, uh, from the vehicle, officials said, and three additional suspected gang members inside the vehicle were also arrested. Don't say suspected gang members. Were they gang members or they not? Members of the MCSO's Fugitive Apprehension and Special Task Force Unit are on the federal task force. KWTF Archive Show Lewis was accused in February 2020 of running the mother of his chip mother of his children off the road with the kids in the car. Well it says accused. We just gonna act like that never happened. Obviously we don't know. So god damn it just seemed like you know some people trouble just find it man and it happens to be hot boy west it's very unfortunate um gucci man i think that it might be time to start leaving the street artists alone man you got an eye for talent but it's always been street artists but at this point they ain't really helping you out man they just can't stay out in the streets um you, you seem like you're spending a lot of money and you know he's an artist if he stayed now let's say he stays in jail he probably gonna have to fight that with his with his record he might not get a bond and is he really that lucrative to you yet he's not even making no money for you yet so you know unfortunately are you gonna are you gonna stick beside him are you gonna hire lawyers and help him out or do you cut your ties with him and wish him the best of luck you know but you know people took chances on gucci man but gucci man also had the music and the product to give to the folks when he was getting arrested so and back then they wasn't giving out federal cases the way they're giving them the rappers now so i think this is an interesting take i think you gotta i think he might have to start looking into artists who you know they don't necessarily got to be street artists but you know that they love they craft more than they love the streets or you know they not gonna be you ain't gotta worry about them going back to their hometown getting in trouble so let's just see what we got going on man and i wish the best for all the 1017 artists that are arrested right now and i also wish the best for gucci man because i know he's tired of taking l's because that ain't gucci like hey man subscribe like share comment hit that notification bell down below 
and we out, baby. Boom. Our daddy channel. <laughs>